what's up guys this is core expert here and finally we are going to finalize our promo code contract here uh, until now we have done many things here if you missed something please go back and check those videos because otherwise you it will be difficult to understand what we have done right now so uh, till now we have created a database of promo codes and then we require two conditions whether the promo code given by the audience is one of the promo codes in the database and whether the promo code is active and we have given the deposited the amount into the accounts of the audience all right but what we haven't done right now yet is we haven't used this struct and created our own database of audiences who have already used the promo code all right so we are taking the information about the address and the promo code and the string and the name and the age of the audience uh, but we are not using it so right now in this tutorial we are going to use this information to store and then retrieve it using get audience information function all right so let's start by typing promo code audience um oh yeah i think i think i think we have to just define a map before doing that and the way to do that is mapping of address to the struct audience all right and this will be the promo code audience mapping so what is going to do it is going to do is it's going to address the uh, map the address of the people who have used the promo code to their information name age and promo code used right so we have this promo code audience uh, mapping and we are going to give the address of this and it should be a double d r e double s and address and that will be dot name is equal to underscore dot name and promo code audience underscore address dot age will be equal to underscore age and promo code audience underscore address dot promo code used is equal to underscore promo code all right so it says error and why is it saying error because it's not a string so it should be in and still it is giving some error i don't know why let's check it identifier not found oops 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 and this is the one yeah so it was a spelling mistake you went age and now it is working perfectly fine so we have just uh, created a mapping and with this mapping in this address we have uh, assigned the name for this address to be this name which is given by the user the audience same for the age and for the promo code and now using this function we are going to retrieve the information about the audience so what we are going to do is just a simple return function and promo code use promo code audience and underscore address and it should be here address so the the one who wants to know about the information about audience should give the address and he will get uh, the name and the age and uh, the promo code used by that audience all right and dot age and promo code use audience and underscore address 
dot promo code used all right so we have defined another function here and it's giving me error again and the error sucks I really don't like error I don't know why I'm talking like this but I feel really good now because I'm going to finally end this tutorial series and it says different different number of arguments in written oops man we are going to return here only string so just type a name and string and u int and then string yeah we are done now so let's check whether we have done something good and deployed and I'm going to give the address of this guy so let's check uh, so what we are, have done is that we have compiled and executed this contract using this address and I'm going to go to this address now so this is the address of the concert owner people and uh, this will be uh, my address all right and the second will be your address so let's go to this address now and I will copy my address here control V and then I will use promo code 1 right and then I will use my name code expert and my age and get your token and there you go your tokens have been deposited to your account all right and now i have used promo code one and now if somebody else wants to use the same promo code so somebody else's for example somebody else's account is this and he goes here and says that his address is this and his promo code is same promo code one and then uh, name is someone else and age is 20 and get your tokens and here you can see that it cannot be used more than once another thing what we want to do is uh, now I have used this token uh, this address so I will copy this address and paste this address and try to get the authentication information but it doesn't give anything because we have put the modifier here to get authentic uh, audience information so nobody else can view this information except the owner of this contract right and the owner of this contract is this guy because he has created this contract so let's go to this account and then again try to paste the my uh, ethereum address oh sorry not here here and then get authenticator information audience information and there you go we have the information that this code expert dude which is having age of 25 has used the promo code number one all right guys so that was really beautiful and i hope you were able to do all everything if you were not able to do please make sure to comment in the video below and i will be able to help you in the future so i hope you are excited guys and finally we have created our own contract with ethereum congratulations you have just created your own uh, ethereum contract which is having something usability and you can actually use this contract to any concert in your college in your school or anywhere else so thank you very much guys i really enjoyed myself uh, making this video because i feel that i have created something tangible with this and i hope you are feeling the same and thanks very much again for watching this video please make sure to like it share it and subscribe it and for now take care and keep smiling and keep learning bye bye